tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Peng Shui is finally speaking out. The former world number one doubles player disappeared for about three weeks after accusing a former Chinese vice premier of sexual assault. Shui has now done her first interview with Western media since making global headlines back in November. She now says that she never claimed she was sexually assaulted and asserts that she herself removed the social media post detailing the incident. In an exclusive interview, she told French publication L'Equipe she never said anyone sexually assaulted her and asked why all the concern. Since Peng's bombshell claim was posted on November 2nd, claiming China's former vice premier Zhang Gaoli forced her to have sex at his home after they played tennis, Peng was not seen publicly for weeks. Now she says her post created a huge misunderstanding, although she did not clarify exactly what was misunderstood. She says she hopes her case stops being misrepresented and that people stop hyping it. She also strongly suggested that she is retiring and will not rejoin the WTA tour. These latest comments have been met with a lot of skepticism by some, who point out that this interview was conducted under very strict conditions. L'Equipe had to submit questions in advance, and the interview itself was done in Beijing with a Chinese official present throughout, translating her answers from Chinese. Given those restrictions, some observers say the interview raises more questions, and they believe that Peng Shui is being coerced into recanting her story for fear of government reprisals. Consider that her initial post on Weibo, China's version of Twitter, was a bombshell and marked the very first time a prominent Chinese government official was accused of sex assault. In her post from November the 2nd, the 36-year-old Peng alleged that she and the now 75-year-old Zhang Gaoli had an extramarital relationship and that they broke it off and then he sexually assaulted her after they played tennis. Well, Peng Shui told Lei Keep that WTA mental health counselors have reached out to her, but she doesn't need any psychological help. As we tape today's news, the WTA position remains unchanged. They want a formal investigation into her allegations and they aren't buying this denial. WTA CEO Steve Simon says it is very good to see Peng Shui. However, her interview does not alleviate his concerns. He believes Peng took a bold step in publicly coming forward in her social media post. And he wants an investigation and the opportunity to meet Peng privately to talk about her situation. Now, as we've reported, the WTA cut ties with China in the aftermath of Peng's claims. China was set to host 11 WTA events, including the WTA finals. The ATP is set to play tournaments in China, though currently the ATP has only posted its schedule up through Wimbledon. We're going to continue to follow this story and we'll keep you posted of any new developments. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time.